Welcome back everybody to Photography Tips and Tricks, your show for gear tips, inspiration, anything that you need to get your photography over to the next level. My name is RC, and this week I wanna to talk to you almost kind of like a little public service announcement. Guys, we spend a lot of money on our gear, and I think that the lens tag system is a great way to be able to secure the work that you've done or the money that you've invested inside of your gear. Now let me talk to you about what the service is. You're gonna to go to lenstag.com, right? And this is a service that you sign up for free and register your images. So basically, if you need to know more about it, you go to what is lens tag, you get global protection. So what happens with this? You sign up for this account and they tell you, all right, well, enter in all of your camera, all right, cameras and lenses and devices that are photographic related. And once they're there, it's a database that they're managing, right? So automatically, you can go ahead and make sure that all of that stuff is available online 24 hours a day. It's already worked. There are a lot of cases that are coming in and here's one that the Petapixel website picked up. Basically, this dude bought a lens, right? The lens was stolen from somebody. The person who bought that lens actually went and took a look at the lens tag system and once you go inside of it, you can say, all right, we'll take a look at this one serial number. Sure enough, that was stolen. Now, the man actually was pretty cool about it, brought it back to the original owner, but it's that kind of thing. You wanna be able to have a service that's going to keep track of all of this stuff. And then at that point, you know, should anything happen to your gear, somebody goes over to the lens tag system and checks it out, they can see whether or not it's been lost or stolen. So in that, I think it's really, really cool. Now, the other thing that I think is pretty cool is that once your gear is verified, you have access to updated, right, you new and used values for your gear. So that I think is pretty decent, right? You sign up, you download the application, you add your gear, and then they review the items. That's it, so they have to check it against their database and they wanna make sure that everything's all copacetic about it. But I figured, why not actually take you through this? So I have the app here on my phone, so I've already done that. Let's go ahead and log in here, make sure that everything looks like it's okay. All right, so now I have this already on my phone, so I've downloaded the app. I'm gonna go to lens tag, and you'll see that it shows my gear. Tap the add button to add your gear. Inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my Canon 5D. Oh, there it is, Mark II, Mark III. Oh, I have the Mark III, and I'm putting the serial number. So now, from here, I can go ahead and just, oh, let's take a photo of the serial number. Oh, wait, no, can't do it. So it actually sets us up through these steps. I'm gonna go over here to the serial number, and inside of the serial number, I'll go ahead and put this in. All right, once that's done there, I'll go ahead and take a photo of the serial, access is the camera, make sure that that's all set, take a picture, looks good, it uploads the image, that's it. Now, all you have to do is just go through that for all of your other pieces of gear. Now you have all of that information in one spot. So I like the fact that they keep a database. I like the fact that should something happen, people can check against the system and see if my items have been lost. I like it actually from an inventory standpoint. So having everything in one area, I think is really, really good. So if you want to see more about this, make sure that you go take a look at lenstag.com. There, you can sign up for your free account, you can add all of your information, you can see all of that stuff online, and I think it's a great movement for that. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I do wanna to talk to you about our second section, which is how to be able to use wide lenses and long lenses when you're doing portrait photography. Make sure that you click on the link below so that you can go over to the Kelby TV site and watch the rest of the episode. I'll see you guys in a little bit.